I'm glad we're all here, said the mole. And if you remember back in the book, he struggled to say that he loved them. So that is the way he says that he loves them. So just to let you know, he says, I'm glad we're all here, said the mole. I'm so glad you're here too. Goodbye, said the boy. I'm really going to miss you. So the boy starts walking to the home. It's very sad. Home isn't always a place, is it? So home isn't always a place, is it? And again, they just sort of stop and meet up again. Well, this is warm, said the horse. And very kind, replied the fox. And look at the stars, said the horse. So you know all about me, asked. So you know all about me, asked the boy. Yes, replied the horse. And you still love me. We love you all the more. And they're just all sitting together. That's why we're here, isn't it? said the boy. For cake? asked the mole. To love and to be loved. That 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 image there of them all together with a shoot. So oh, I think that I think that all cuddled up. Just amazing. Just just to love it. And that was the end. That's it. So in the end of the book it talks about love. And I think that's a really important point. So from my from my perspective, I think especially from like a male perspective, you know, I know when with my dad and stuff, he's all, he always struggled to like express feelings and say, hey, hey, I love you. We're much better now. But I think, you know, growing up through the years that I grew up, this is not something that we would say. You know, hey, I love you and stuff. Actually, even even today, I'm not going to say, but, but, but I've experienced something today, which I wasn't expecting from someone that I know quite well now, or very well, I say. And I really do. And, and for me, that's massive growth to be able to be really open and vulnerable and say things like that in a place where, you know, where it's quite male orientated, I think it's really powerful. And uh, because for me, we're not going to be here forever. And as you know, my mum passed away and um, I did tell her a lot that I loved her. And I think that's important. Had I not done that, I think that would have had a bit effect, big effect on me. So I really am making more effort. Even now, that less, even now, I think I need to do it more. So this lesson of expressing love and telling people you love them is so important. And, it, and, and you know, if you do really, you know, if you do, you know, admire someone, you know, tell them that you admire them, whatever it is. But, you know, be, be, be truthful for what you are and be, and be that person. And, you know, if you've got really close family members, remember to tell them that you love them. You know, if you love them, just tell them, <laughs> um, you know, because I know I can appreciate, you know, that you're not going to love everybody. It just doesn't happen. Right. However, there are going to be important, significant people in your life. And it's important that we tell them that they're significant. And if we love them, tell them that you love them. And I think that's what that last bit of the book is. That's what we're all down here for. So I love that. Anyway. Over to you, Lee. Anything from that? No, I think that's the, that's the last message on it. I'm going to fumble here for those watching, so I just need to hurriedly find my um, charger for my laptop, or this is all going to go horribly wrong. Oh, no, we're not going to. So Strike. TikTok, just to... Uh... I'm there, I'm there. It's good, it's good. We're oh, safe. Oh, thank goodness. We're oh, safe today. The modern age in which we live, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the ultimate bit, and, like you know, the whole what's the meaning of life and stuff like that, and I'm not, not going to go too deep here, but I think that your individual interactions with people and how they feel from their interactions with you that, that i think for me everything boils down to that that is the single most important thing is is are those interactions and how you feel from them and how other people feel from them and probably ultimately how you feel for them but for me it's a big you know i like but it's a big mission of mine to try and, you know, leave people feeling good or that I've helped them or supported them or whatever it is from as many interactions as I can. And I think that whole you're here to be loved kind of sums that up brilliantly. I do think that that's the point at the end of the day, because there isn't really anything else without that. I'm yeah. like you as well. I will say in, in, within my immediate family, we, we see each other a lot. And I think I've referenced this before, especially, uh, you know, it's people coming to me help close well which i didn't really realize but we do see each other quite a lot we message and we talk we never really say i love you and we don't really hug that's not our thing but we do see each other a lot and i was going to say i don't really do it a lot but obviously there's a few people i do i do it with my behalf do it with um 
the kids two of the cats of course they come top of my list on everything <laughs> but then there's a mutual friend of ours i'm seeing tomorrow night for some drinks joe and no doubt once i've had enough drinks i tell him i love him as well so it, it's out there and it's something more comfortable with. but it wasn't necessarily what we did growing up but we kind of show that in a lot of other ways as well well that's what but the mole said isn't it that's it that's what's important i think yeah well don't you remember what the mole said he struggled to say he yes. said he loved people he said i'm glad we're that's all why here. i say this instead yeah yeah and and so you know some really big lessons like you might struggle to say that word but you can do it in a way like lee says that actually still expresses the same emotion and, and the same thing it's just really again it's very individual right it's very individual and so you know big lessons from this book and that's why i loved it so i'm just going to repeat the book and the author because i think it is so powerful. absolutely so it's um the boy the mole the fox and the horse by charlie mackesy all right guys I would recommend get this book. You know, if you've got children, absolutely brilliant. Even if you haven't got children, read the book. There are big lessons in here. And it's a, it's a beautiful, I'm getting chills just thinking about the story. I'm just getting an emotional response because I think it's so powerful. Um, and I say that the, the, the little video clip I did of when the boy says, um, you know, when the mole asked the boy, you know, asked the boy, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the boy just says, kind. And then the mole says this thing is kind of sits behind all things. And I just think, oh, that's just such a really powerful message. And um, the whole book is just so powerful. And the fact, like I say, I've recommended it to people. And I'm glad we can do this on, and, and promote it on here in this podcast. Because I think it's just, you know, powerful. Thank you, Absolutely. Charlie Mackesy, for bringing this into the world. 100%. And just one more little thought on that when you said it, Joe, as well, about what you want to be kind. And it's lovely that it's not a thing. It's a behavior. That's, you know, what do you want to be as a person? And actually, again, as you know, as you grow, the more you can do what you like, the more you can be the person you want to be and the more you can do the things you like to do. If you can, you know, it's not as possible, but if you can find a way to attach that to a job or to bring that into your job or, you know, you move in that direction, again, the, the more you are as a person, and again, it, it comes down to what you get to do and who you are as a person rather than, you know, job title or, or all those other other sort of things and i just think the fact that it was a behavior rather than something else was was a really nice viewpoint as well <laughs>